Well, after last week's frigid temperatures, the Brainerd Police Department is stepping up to help keep citizens warm by offering free hats and scarves on their giving tree. Our Logan Gay has more. If you drive past the Brainerd Police Department, you might see some interesting objects hanging from a tree outside of their office. Those aren't Christmas decorations, but a gesture of kindness. I'd read an article about another state on the East Coast where somebody had put items up with little tags on there saying, I'm not lost. If you need me to stay warm, take me. And I thought it was a great idea. The items were knitted by Christy Utrinka and her knitting circle and hung on the tree on Sunday. They are knitting and crocheting hats and we're doing um, children, baby, adult sizes, and scarves. And then we have a few fingerless mittens out there that we've gotten so far. Originally, Utrinka wanted to remain private about her involvement in the project. We just wanted it to be just something nice to do for people. It wasn't a business building plan. The tree is available to anyone. No questions asked. Um, access it when it's convenient for you. You don't have to check in with us or anybody. Um, if there's something there and you think you can use it, you're welcome to it. And it's a great example of community members partnering with law enforcement to make a difference. I think it's a great example of the community involvement and community policing here. We've, we're really fortunate. We've got a great relationship with the citizens in our community. And for them to come forward with this idea, this was the community's idea, not ours, and ask us to partner with it, just demonstrates how fortunate we really are. And Brainerd, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. And Christy Utrenka plans to continue to work with the Brainerd Police Department to restock the tree and give them extra winter gear to keep in their patrol cars to give to people as needed. What a great idea. And so important when the temperatures are cold like they've been. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.